Good morning, fr good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. so my eyes probably still look a little sleepy. I slept so hard last night. I didn't even finish the Dolly Parton movie because I fell asleep. To show you how hard I slept, I have two pieces of evidence. <laughs> and I went to bed wearing pajama pants. Also, these pajamas are so cute. They're by Hannah Anderson. Almost all my Christmas PJs you will see in Vlogmas will be Hannah Anderson. I will link the pairs below, but I went to bed wearing pajama pants and I woke up wearing pajama pantaloons every time I go to sleep. They end up becoming pantaloons on me. It's a little after 4 a.m. Today we are picking up litter when we see it and then I'm also going to listen to an inspiring podcast. So I need to pick my podcast for today and I'll listen to it in the car. I'll let you know what I think. I have decided for my 20 minutes that I really just wanna sit in silence and just enjoy my cup of chai and take a breath. And that's the way I kind of want to start my Friday and my weekend is just by like taking a pause. <laughs> I said sit in silence, but my other coffee machine is heating up. But just to kind of do some meditation, a little prayer, and maybe just a little reflection. I've had a lot of feelings lately. I've suffered from imposter syndrome and not feeling good about myself because I think I've kind of put self-care on the back burner because I've been so busy. So I need to reprioritize. And that was one of the inspiration points behind the self-care calendars because I know it's something that I often talk to you about, but it's not something I have practiced really well for the last three months. So I'm going to take this 20 minutes to just be present with myself. And I encourage you all to take time to just be present with yourself every once in a while. All right, friends, let's make it a great day. I have to head off to work. I ended up listening to my podcast while I got ready and I listened to ha uh, Happier by Gretchen Rubin. She wrote The Happiness Project and I am loving it. Um, so yeah, heading off to work today, super casual. And I'm wearing those clove shoes that I got yesterday. They're so comfortable. Also, after researching, I understand why they're so comfortable. They are made for healthcare workers, but obviously you can wear these anywhere. I think they're gonna be like a new travel shoe. I really love them. They're so, 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 so comfortable. Highly, highly recommend. All right, let's get rocking and rolling. And I will see you all in a little bit. Hello friends, long time no see. It is about 4.30 and I am just getting home. I just brought the dogs in, but I have to show you what life is now like with a puppy. So brace yourself, you know what my house normally looks like. So right now we're having treats, but we have a dragon, a Kong, all sorts of little things on the carpet, an olive wood branch, a gutted alligator, an octopus squirrel, a chipmunk, a messed up blanket, one of Steven's socks, pillows on the floor, one puppy labradoodle, why she's not a labradoodle, she's a standard poodle, one rescued and loved standard poodle with potato lockies on the couch. in one old labradoodle. Mabel. <gasps> Hi. Hi. 
Hi. Mabel. Mabel. See how, I mean, look at that face for Look at the face for How do you not love it? How do you not love it? But you're the OG of the OC. You're the OG of the OC. Yes, you are. And we love you. All right, I need to decompress for a second and then we'll come down and see what we got in the mail. I also just gotta share, I just put on my pajamas. If you can hear my narwhal, if you can hear that, it's drying. If you haven't seen my vlog before, this is the narwhal Frio. It is a mop, a vacuum, a robot, essentially. And while I was at work, it cleaned all of this. So essentially, it cleaned everything but my gym, my powder room, my laundry room, and inside my pantry, because I chose not, it doesn't need it, I just was mopped, and there's not enough traffic in there. But like, look how clean my floors are. But this is what I'm gonna show you. So, in this tank, this is where the clean water goes. You can see it's almost empty because it mopped so much. So I'm gonna fill that up just so it's always ready for me. In here, I have my cleaning solution. It'll tell me when I need to put a new one in. It should be good for a while. But here is all the dirty water from the mop session today. How incredible is that? So I'm gonna dump that out, rinse it out, put it back in, put clean water in just so it's ready for the next time. I love this thing. And I also wanna clean out the dustbin because it vacuumed and mopped, and look at that. It is completely full. What I love about it is it's like one touch. You open it up, look at all of that. I So there was a couple reasons Steven ended up buying this for me. I have been so crazy busy with things. And I will just add that adding Mabel to the house, although it is the best decision we've made. Things have definitely been messier with a puppy. That's just, she plays more, she brings more things in from the side. It's just part of life. I wouldn't trade it for the world, but Steven getting me this was really to help just make things a little bit easier on me so I don't have to spend a weekend doing the floors. I can do them during the week, and I have been so happy with the addition of it. The other great thing is it self-cleans its mop heads, so that's what it was doing right now. And then when they get too bad, you can replace them. You can wash them by hand. Just gonna slide. See, right now it's still cleaning and drying the mop heads from today. Oh, so. These also are gifts for Steven, so I'm gonna go, to go ahead tuck those away. Like I said, I'm gonna save one vlog probably next week to really go through all the things that I bought the love of my life. This was for me, I thought it was something else. I picked up the winter spruce candle. Remove the dust cover, has a nice silver lid. Very simple. All right. I am in another pair of Hannah Anderson pajamas. These have gnomes on it. What I love about the Hannah Anderson pajamas are these long slur, long slurve, these long sleeve pajama shirts. I can throw them on under a puffer vest or under my coat with a pair of jeans and boots, and it looks like I'm just like being festive. That's what I love about them, so I can get like dual purpose out of them. It's just super, super handy and fun, and I love her designs. Like I said, I linked a bunch of my favorite pairs for you down below. All right, I'm gonna get the dogs fed, all of those things. Steven's on his way home, and then we will continue with Vlogmas Day 2. 
All right, so last night I fell asleep during the Dolly Parton Christmas movie that was on NBC. I am crying. I am so ridiculous. It is like the cheesiest movie, but I totally cried at the last song. Like, <laughs> like ugly cry. I'm so glad Steven wasn't home because he would have made fun of me. But I totally just, like... <laughs> I just was sobbing on the couch with the dogs uh, watching the Dolly Parton Christmas movie. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I mean, it is so cheesy and ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign of like how tough the last couple weeks have been. But <laughs> I was, I was a mess. Like just a straight up mess. It's dinner time. You have to take your collar off because you don't eat with your collar on. I need to get a cereal bowl for you because you only eat out of cereal bowls and nothing else. I mean, we have the oddest dogs. This is how dinner goes. Watch this. <gasps> what is this? It's the only thing you eat out of. Ooh, like a cereal bowl. So we run the dishwasher constantly because she uses two cereal bowls a day. So she eats out of cereal bowls and Bubba's only eats out of square containers. Well, this one's a rectangle, but he must have four corners. He has to eat on the runner so he can keep his feet stable. And we'll show you where she eats. Right here by the kitchen table, instead of all the places we have in prepped for them to eat. So. Yes, only eats out of cereal bowls, only eats out of square containers. That's life. So if you're wondering what the special is, this is it. Um, it is Dolly Parton's Mountain Magic Christmas. So yeah, I just literally ugly cried. Ugly cried through the ending. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, my bulls. Yes, I did. You keep eating. Alrighty, let's do some advent calendars. Day two. I am doing this tonight. It is a Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. It is by the brand YTTP. I don't know. Excited about that. Like I said, this will have some beauty products that I'll have to gift to some people, but it also will have great skincare. And I love, like, getting exposed to, like, small trial sizes of skincare. That's one of the reasons I love Advent Calendars, because it introduces me to products that I might not have found otherwise. So, really into that. All right. Saks Fifth Avenue. Here we go. This is day two. This is, oh, two masks. This is a Radiance Revealing Harmonizing Mask. Day two. It's our inner section. I don't think it goes anywhere just yet. Yeah, I think I have to get the other two circles. That's odd that it doesn't fit anything yet. Or am I supposed to... We'll wait to see what we get tomorrow. I'm probably going to do a horrible job putting this together. Okay. It's just weird that that one doesn't fit anywhere yet. We'll figure it out. All right. Day two... Oh, I just knocked all my candles over. Day two. Do I have to? Oh, I don't even have to go very far. I will tell you, the they crushed the box game. I got a uh, Eau de Perfume. This is probably my least scent. It's rose. I'm just not a rose person. It's not a scent that I gravitate towards in anything from, like, personal fragrances to candles. It's just not a fragrance I dig much. So I will probably gift that to someone as well. All right. Pour some sugar on me in the name of love. Oh, 
I love these. I love the texture. I love the texture of these in particular. They're gummies that have like little like sprinkles. There's something about the texture play on those that I love. They are um, Mary Berries. Like very raspberry-ish. Dolly has to come through at least today because she's already created a minty bee and I had a breakdown. So, Dolly, you got to deliver at least two days in a row. Cause yesterday I wasn't mad at you. Now, did you make me cry once today? Yes, yes you did. But will you make me cry twice? That is what we're about to learn. I mean, it's not an empty box, but I'm not a fan of these old school peppermint candies. But, I mean, you delivered on your promise. I can't believe she made me, like, literally have a breakdown today. I poured a glass of wine. I am pretty much a Camus person, but it's an expensive bottle of wine to have every day. So I have been introduced to Miomi. Let me tell you, the Miomi Pinot Noir in the cab, excellent choices, $20 a bottle. They're very good. And then I found these glasses and I know you're gonna be so disappointed, but they are sold out everywhere. You cannot find them anymore. They come, I don't know if I have all six washed right now. If they ever show up, friends, I promise to link them immediately. But they are the most beautiful colors. Like I said, I have one more in the dishwasher, but I'm obsessed with them. They are sold out everywhere. I found them at a specialty shop. Amazon is claiming they might never get a restock of them. I'm sorry, because they are terrific. In this world of Vlogmas where I'm working and doing all these things, Steven brought home dinner again. Also, here are the secret ingredients to Steven's favorite lunch. Oh yeah. Tell okay. them. <laughs> well, Mabel can, you know, sorry. Look how so, tall she is though. Ow, she keeps on biting me. Stop. No, stop. No. Oh, that. I was thinking of questions to ask you. Like, what is your favorite thing about Mabel? Um, my favorite thing about Mabel, um, well, it's not that she comes when you call her, because she doesn't. It's not that she, it's that she's loving and she doesn't have an aggressive or mean bone in her body. As she rips your sleeve off your shirt. She really doesn't, though. She, she is just a you can love. Do anything to her, and she will not like. Even when I clean her ears, she just whines. Whereas he will snarl and bite. What's your favorite thing about Bubby? Oh my god, what is not their love about Bubbles? My favorite thing about Bubby is he's been with us for so long. What's your favorite thing about me? <gasps> That's hurtful. There are many things that uh, I have to do. Wait, you have to tell them about this like lunch that you created and all your secret ingredients. It, th just before he tells you, I think it sounds absolutely disgusting. I eat it all the time. I know. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, a healthy taco. It's like a healthy uh, turkey sandwich. So how do you make it? So I have a taco tortilla. Okay, I make two of them. And then I cut up this cheese, the pepper jack cheese. And I add turkey, turkey strips. I warm that up. I put, and then I put the baby arugula. Or you can use spinach too. Sometimes I use spinach on top. And then I put the roasted salsa verde on top of it. <laughs> and I serve it with tortilla chips. I'll make it tomorrow because it's Saturday. <laughs> I serve it with tortilla chips. There is something about heated up lunch meat that makes me want to vomit. I always heat up my lunch meat. I know. It's, I think that eating cold lunch meat is not, you shouldn't do it unless you're in a school cafeteria. All right, so that is our question of the day and I need to see you guys answer in the comment section. Do you heat up lunch meat or do you? Me. 
I would never eat a panini with heated up lunch meat. I would eat a panini that had like real chicken or like cuts of meat on it. The idea of heating up lunch meat, and he heats up everything. Because I grew up in a very cold climate. Okay, anyway, I need to know. Do you, would you heat up lunch meat? Leave a comment down below, or am I just too picky? You're too picky. You're too weird. But I love you. So I went to Wegmans and I got, well this was, we already had this. I got my stuff for lunch tomorrow. I'm at a hiring fair tomorrow. From when? From what? nine to two. What? What's wrong with your, under your eyes, they look all like blue. Oh, I was crying. Why? <laughs> the Dolly Parton Christmas special. I ended up coming home and watching it and it made me ugly cry. <laughs> Dolly Parton made you cry. Yes, the last song she sang really touched me. Dolly should make anyone cry, isn't she like the bearer of goodwill? It was like a good cry because she was so interest. She made me be so introspective and like it was just a beautiful moment. The I song that was she called was all about positivity when and she is. The song was called "When Life Gets Good Again," and it made me cry. cry. How about we take a trip around the world? I want to go to Antarctica. No, why don't we go see? what David's tea has in store for us. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, they don't grow tea in Antarctica. If anyone's been on an Antarctic Dan, cruise, please let me know. We were trying to think of all the names in the comment section of what you've called this. You've called it Chad's tea, you've called it Daniel's tea. Um, David's tea. Yeah, you never get the name quite right. Where are we going today, Stephen? It's today too? Yes. Oh, Japan. I've always wanted to go to Tokyo. All these places, well, I guess I've been to the USA. Is there one Canada? Do they have tea in Canada? Do they make tea in Canada? No, I guess it's too cold. Yeah, I don't know, where would they make tea in Japan? Anyway. <laughs> I love that these are the questions that will keep you up at night. And oh. I know you will Google this later. I will. Wait, why are those two Japans? There's two, <gasps> there's two Japan teas. And there's two, there's double, there, there's three Chinese teas. Is that upsetting? No, I know they don't make tea at the North Pole. Whatever. You said Canada was too cold, but somehow North Pole can I, pull it off. Well, it's above Canada. I don't know if they make it. I don't, well, I'm not a, a whatever a tea expert is. Isn't that like a sommelier? Is there something like a... A, a, a TCA. <laughs> there must be like a tea expert, like a... Not a barista or a sommelier, but there must be somebody for tea. If somebody knows the answer, let me know because I'm interested in these sorts of things. Do you want to become one? Not really. You didn't tell us what the name of it is. Um, organic Japanese Sencha. What does it smell like? Japanese sencha, duh. I don't know, like grassy. Yeah. Like earthy. Yeah, it's like green. It looks a little suspect. Like if you got caught with that tea, you get in trouble. Vlogmas is pretty long already. I think we should end with some doggy advents. All right. Are they gonna be good? Or are they going to? They're just probably gonna. I mean, this one is just laying here, calm as a clam. That's where she lays. I know. Do you know what this is? I have to find day two, love bug. Oh, day two is right here. Oh, it's red. I think a red one. <gasps> All right, let's give him another shot. Close out Vlogmas day two. Um, be kind to others. Be good to yourself. Uh, Happiness is free. Throw it around willy-nilly. <laughs>